Well, if you're a bit like me, your home assistant needs a bit of a cleanup. You've been adding devices over the years and some of them you're not using anymore, but you never went back and deleted the entities. So I'm going to show you today a little integration called Spook that allows you to easily recognize those items that are hanging around there needing to be cleaned up. So Spook is a little toolbox that's been added by Frank of the Home Assistant team. It is a Hex integration, so you will need to install Hex first. So let's have a look at exactly what does Spook do. So there's a couple of things that it does. First of all, they're saying it adds new features to existing actions. It will add new entities to existing integrations. And for more advanced users, it adds new template functions to the template engine. But for me, the main reason that I like Spook is this cleanup. So this will go around and search for dead entities within your system. So let's have a look at the install process. First of all, we need to be running on 2024.4 or newer. Secondly, we need to have hacks. I will leave a link in the description below showing you how to install hacks. So to install Spooks, we first go along to hacks. We type in the name. There it is, click on that, select the download and download again. And then we need to restart our Home Assistant. So we go to settings, it says restart required and submit. So now that Home Assistant has restarted, we just go to settings, devices and services, add integration, and now we search for Spook again. There it is. Click on it and submit. Now it needs you to restart again. So now we go along to settings, devices and services, and we look for our Spook. And there it is over there. So as you see, we've got three different things that we can look at here. First of all, we've got repairs. And currently it's telling us that there are 10 active issues that need to be looked at. Secondly, we've got this, which is a, it looks like a summary of all the different things that we've got in Home Assistant. So you can see, for example, a number of automations, binary sensors, buttons, all sorts of different things that are going on in my Home Assistant at the moment. And the third one is linked to the Home Assistant Cloud. So this is showing that I've got Alexa running and I've got a remote set up. So what I'm interested in is the cleanup side of this. So we go along to settings and you'll see over here that it shows that we've got 10 repairs. So let's look at all the repairs. So if we look here, we've got some unused or unknown entities. So it's telling me that it's found a ghost and that it has got a scene referring to entities which are unknown to Home Assistant. So this is the Apollo MSR1 RGB light. So this is not being used at the moment. So what I can do now is I can go and edit the scene to fix that. There we go. You can see that. So I'm actually going to delete this scene because I'm not using that at all. So we'll delete that. And there we go. We fixed that one up. Having a look at another one here, we've got this occupancy. So it's telling us the following entities are unknown. So we go in and edit the automation and we can now delete this automation again. So once again, we've cleaned that up. Another thing it's reminded me of is that there are some unknown entities used in my dashboard. So you can see all of these are being used in my dashboard, which are no longer available. So if we go to our dashboard and we can start clicking along here and we can see over here that we've got those entities. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm just going to delete these because I'm not using them anymore. And now we have a much cleaner dashboard. Another thing we can do here is go along to developer tools and actions. And if we use this drop down over here, you'll see that we've got some actions here for little items that have been created by Spook. So if we look through these, we might want to, for example, go along and delete all orphaned entities. So we perform that action and there we go. It's deleted those three orphaned entities. So a big thank you to Frank for creating this great little tool for helping us to have a clean and tidy 
Home Assistant. Now, I'm sure there's way more things you can do with this tool, so please let me know in the comments below if you've done some more and interesting things. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.